Hi, this is Steve with the BMW E36 Rally Build. We're um, just doing a quick walk around the car today and uh, let you have a look. Not much has happened since we have last put a video out, but it's back into it again now. And you can see exactly where we're up to on the car. So, this is the car as it stands today. There's uh, just the front of it going over to the into the engine bay. You can see the throttle bodies are partly set up. I've left them the way they are until the uh, Motec is wired because they, they'll need all the areas to access them underneath. Um, the injector wiring is in there already which is along the throttle, sorry, along the fuel rail there. So they're all installed and so on but the ends of them have to be fitted off. Power steering unit is in, there we sit down there which had to be re, re um, a new place made for them. Wiring which has been a big headache, we've got that set up in the car coming around the Motec is installed, it's snug down behind the the footwell there for the passenger co-driver's co uh, footwell. Co-driver's seat's in, and mainly only for um, the fit off um, of the footwell and so on. Now we're looking at back of the car, spare wheel mount and so on. Uh, they're still using the standard fuel tank. It does have a Kevlar coating on the fuel tank, or carbon fibre coating on the, on the fuel tank underneath to keep it from being damaged being a rally car. Back around, back of the car, boot area, which not a lot has been done in that. It's still, I'll have the, uh, the wiring and it sorted out soon there. And then through the roll cage in the back of the car. We'll come around and we'll have a look up the other side. This is the airbox and the airbox mount plate for the uh, throttle bodies, the multi, the six throttle bodies. There's the other ones that are um, got to go onto the onto the car as yet. The front suspension's in. Uh, once the um, lower control arm, etc., been set up using uh, dimple brake discs there. Coming around, there's a lot of work in setting up the uh, the base of the strut, which is um, had the bracketing and so on made up, which you would have seen in previous videos of the setup. Sway bar setup, that's been done. So there's a clutch and brake reservoirs coming around. Right hand side of the car, once again, brake setup's all in. Roll cage, and then the uh, brake and clutch pedals are not, uh, balance brakes are not in the car yet, they're still in the process of just being set up on the bench. And we have, uh, actually have the ignition system, sorry, well, battery, the wiring all done, the battery's hooked up. We've actually got things working in here, which is really good, which took a heap of time, a heap of work, and going across once again to the gear stick and um, still going to use the, the uh, switches for the electric windows and so on because I have to use the electric windows because this roll cage here won't let me use a wind-up window but that's fine, that'll work really well. Just got to show the balance brake setup that we're putting in the car. This is the uh, base of the unit which is here, I've actually pulled it apart, stripped it down because I'm going to uh, reinforce it as I don't believe in its standard form it, uh, it will be strong enough. The pedals and so on for it are here, I'll just bring them over. There's the actual, that's the pedal there with the, the balance mechanism in it which you can see there's a spherical bearing inside there which runs through to the two cylinders. So that uh, that one sits in there, basically. Then we have the other one, which is a clutch that sits in there. And then we also have the accelerator pedal, which it will go in 
to there and it's got a scallop out of it as you can see here which allows the adjuster to come through and, uh, and be part of the whole show okay and then to fit it all off is obviously the cylinders themselves here are the two of the cylinders are the two brake cylinders and then here is a, a cylinder that will go into into there and that will be actuated by this pedal there that one will be the clutch and these two are the brakes not too bad and so this is the hydraulic handbrake no it's not located there it's actually going to be located down here I've got a, um, a part that has already been welded in to take the uh, take the mount set up and there's the cylinder and the brake basically it's going to go into that position there okay so that's just the handbrake um, in the car I've actually mounted it onto this um, I've made this um, little pedestal that the there's the pedestal the unit will go onto purposely gave it that many holes <coughs> because the unit will go on here and I suspect I will actually have it mounted probably something like that off on an angle so I'll actually have a plate little bolt between this unit and the actual um, pedestal mount so that the, the handbrake is actually um, angled towards the driver's seat so that's basically, basically the unit mounted into the car I think it'll do, uh, do the job quite well so that's the build so far if you're enjoying it hit the like button subscribe and feel free to leave a comment uh, as we get a bit more done we'll make a few more uh, videos like this with a bit more information on them so until next time see ya